Hey, hey, and welcome to this, another episode of Work Smarter, Not Harder, with me, Tony Harmer. And in this episode, we're going to be taking a quick look at the width tool, which you may have missed in Illustrator. So I've got a stroke just here, and I'm just going to increase the width of this to 100 points, and then I'm going to zoom in on it just to make it easier for you to see. Let's bring that down to the middle of the screen. And then I'm going to select the width tool. So Shift W is the way to get that via the keyboard, although if you want it from the toolbox, it lives over here with the warping and distortion tools. So when you have the tool and hover over a stroke, you'll notice that there's a small dot following where you are with the mouse and immediately uh, to the right of the cursor, you can see there's a HUD giving you information about the dimensions that you have for the stroke. To mouse down and pull towards the actual vector line will make the stroke narrower at that point. And of course, the opposite would be true if you pushed away from the actual vector. You can do this asymmetrically by holding down the ALT key and pulling in on the side at which you wish to modify the stroke. And you can always move these by grabbing the point, which to some extent will smooth out the transition between points if that's what you're after. You can get hold of the little nodes on the side and pull in. So I'm just pulling these two into the center here to taper this away. And I'll do exactly the same at this end. So on the ends, it's always better to go to the outside of the stroke and pull in like so, it makes it much, much easier. And when you've got a profile that you think will do what you're after, you can save it. If you come up to the Width Profile Selector up in the Control Strip, there's a small disk icon just there, and you can click on that, give it a name, if I call this one Demo, like so. Then it becomes added to that list. And you can always remove them, should you need to do so, by dragging them onto the trash inside of that panel and it will just ask if you want to confirm that you're going to delete it. So putting it to use is really simple if I get this ellipse here and maybe apply the width profile to that. So if I do that at first you'll think that nothing's actually happened unless you're really observant in which case you'll see that it gets narrower here towards the zero point on the ellipse. And that's because these things are width dependent. If I select this ellipse here and again apply the width profile to it, if I just do that there, and now start to increase the weight, you'll see that the profile does indeed apply there very, very well indeed. So you can do a whole bunch of different things with this. If I just show you something I did way back in 2012, with this as part of a kind of contest. And if I set this to outline mode, you can see that with the exception of the rectangle around the outside, absolutely everything here, oh, and the text of course, but everything else here is a stroke, even the fireworks on the side. And in a later edition of Work Smarter Not Harder, I'll be showing you how to make something just like that. So there you are, that's the width tool for you. I hope you find it useful and please be sure to subscribe to Work Smarter Not Harder so that you get a new tip or technique every week. See ya.